Brandywine Park is more than just a pretty view. A walk along the banks of the Brandywine is like a walk back in time, where every turn tells a story from our city's past. Brandywine Park is literally filled with remnants of Wilmington's history, and today we're going to explore two of those, both of which happen to be gardens. The Josephine Gardens and the Jasper Crane Rose Garden are just steps away from the Brandywine Zoo and each other. Both gardens were established within a few years of each other, and both were created for the same reason. The city of Wilmington began purchasing land for Brandywine Park in 1886, and would continue acquiring new property throughout the early 20th century. Now in its infancy, the park was basically just open, undeveloped space. And along with the need for infrastructure, such as roads and sidewalks, came the need for horticultural enhancements, such as trees and shrubs. And these were often provided by civic-minded individuals. The first major horticulture project at Brandywine Park was the planting of one of the park's most recognized features, the grove of Japanese cherry trees between the Brandywine Zoo and the Brandywine River. In 1929, prominent local attorney J. Ernest Smith, who lived near the park, donated to the Board of Park Commissioners over 100 flowering cherry trees. Legend has it that the donation came at the suggestion of his wife, Josephine Tatnell Smith. When Josephine died in early 1931, just 13 months after the trees were planted, J. Ernest Smith donated the Josephine Fountain as a memorial to his late wife in 1933, and the area became known as the Josephine Gardens. Josephine Fountain was modeled after a 16th century Italian fountain designed for the famous Medici family. After years of wear and tear, the fountain underwent a massive restoration in the late 1990s, so that today visitors can once again enjoy the fountain's beautiful carved stone figures, including winged cherubs, mermaids, animal heads, and dolphins. Just upstream from the Josephine Gardens, on the other side of the beautiful Van Buren Street Bridge, is the Jasper Crane Rose Garden. The Rose Garden began in 1933 as a public works administration project, the federal program during the Great Depression that helped put laborers back to work while also providing improvements for cities across the country. The garden is named after Jasper E. Crane, a DuPont Company executive who donated the roses for the garden. Crane donated 670 plants, comprising 58 different varieties. Upon completion of a massive restoration in 2000 and 2001, the garden saw the introduction of a new hybridized rose named, appropriately enough, the Jasper Crane Rose. Next to the Jasper Crane Rose Garden stands the Bringhurst Fountain, a memorial to the founder of the Wilmington Fountain Society, Ferris Bringhurst. The Fountain Society was a charitable group formed to supply citizens, their horses, and their dogs with drinking water. Erected in 1872, the fountain once stood at the point where Pennsylvania and Delaware Avenues meet. The fountain was removed from its original location in the mid-1960s and remained in storage for more than two decades before it was installed in the Jasper Crane Rose Garden. For more information on the Jasper Crane Rose Garden or the Josephine Gardens, visit your local bookstore or the Wilmington Free Library and pick up a copy of Within the Reach of All, an illustrated history of Brandywine Park by Susan Mulcahy Chase, a local author and historian. Inside this book, you'll find a comprehensive history of Brandywine Park. Read it, and I guarantee you'll have an even greater appreciation for this remarkable asset to the city of Wilmington. From Brandywine Park, for Wilmington in the middle of it all, I'm Rich Newman.